let's talk about a clever little application of permutations. Now, really, in the broad context of cryptography, this is not a good way to encrypt a message, but it is a little bit clever. Let's say that I wanted to encrypt a short little message, something like, do homework early. Honestly, this should probably be broadcast loud and clear rather than encrypted, but it's a good example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of chunk this up, ignoring spaces, chunk this up into blocks of five letters. So I have D-O-H-O-M E-W-O-R-K and then E-A-R-L-Y. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take an element of S5, a permutation on five things. Let's go ahead and use my matrix notation instead of a cycle notation. And let's just say 1 goes to 4, 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 1, 4 goes to uh, 5, and 5 goes to 2. I'm going to apply that to each block of this thing. So, in this case, D, the first letter, is going to go to the fourth position. 2, the second letter, is going to go to the third position. The third letter, H, is going to go to the first position. 4, the fourth letter, O, is going to go to the fifth position. And the fifth letter, M, is going to go to the second position. Do that to the second block. Now, it might even be a little bit easier to say in the first position, the third letter goes there, so I get an O. The second position, the fifth letter. The third position is the second letter. The fourth position is the first letter. And the fifth position is the fourth letter. Same thing again. First position is the third letter, is another R. Second position is the fifth letter, is a Y. The third position is the second letter, is an A. The fourth position, first letter, is an E. And then finally, fifth position is an L. Now, in terms of a real cryptography thing, this isn't all that secure, especially using only a five-letter permutation. But you can see, just looking at that, certainly I don't think I would immediately see what that thing descrambled as. It's not the most secure, but it is a neat little application of a permutation. And of course, what you can do, you would use an inverse of this permutation to undo it. And how would I find the inverse of that? Well, the easiest way is basically just flip those things around. 3 went to 1, so 1 has to go to 3. 5 went to 2, so 2 has to go to 5. 2 went to 3, so 3 has to go to 2. 1 went to 4, so 4 has to go to 1, leaving us with 5 and 4. So applying this, again, chunking it up into 5, we can go back to the original message, which I won't go through.